the 17th of april 2023 you're welcome back to real true education not fake news i'm beginning to see this channel as a bit like a newspaper it has to have a little of everything and it has to try and counter the what we have at the minute with newspapers they're throwing them all back nobody's buying newspapers anymore they're all going back to the publishers because people can't believe what they print it's all fake news and it's not working out for them so i have a notch a, not, a little niche with this site to try and set the record straight but if you're not into into workshop practice then skip it because i can't i have to cater for everybody and i know that people are into vintage or into model engineering and into running the farm and you need to know how to fix stuff if you don't you can't get mechanics or anything else now it's difficult they are available but i get them for very specific jobs and i do a certain amount myself so anyway you're welcome back um the we're going to look now at the situation we've shown you the cylinders of gas the various cylinders you can pick and i'm going to recommend that you do have oxygen and if you have oxyacetylene or oxypropane you'll need a torch and you need a set of hoses and i have the cd one it comes in a in a in a, uh, a plastic box and it says it's for oxygen and gas so it's for both they would seem to say that you have you have both and the the the, the the regulator on the box that didn't come with regulators states that they're for acetylene so still in all i think we're safe enough in saying that you can use the acetylene gauges on the regulator on the uh, propane but not propane on the acetylene i think that's near enough now as you come out from your tank you have connectors and you have flashback arrest arresters and um a big question that I never got answered, and I'm only making progress in answering it, is this. These flashback arresters, these work by detecting uh, heat, detecting flame, and they'll check the flame. So the flame will run back through the pipe, double the speed of sound, and you cannot get there in time to stop it. You don't want it to get in, in through the regulators and in through the tank because then you could have a disaster. And these flashback arresters, and there's various types. This is, uh, it's, I think it's cutto gas or something like that. Uh, this, is, this is it here, acetylene a flashback arrestor. And then this one here is a um, Murex uh, flashback arrestor for oxygen. And of course, you, you can't put them on wrong. They will not go on wrong because the thread is reversed, okay? So you, you have that general idea. Now, one of the questions I don't get answered is, do you need check valves as well? The idea of check valves is that if you leave on, we say your settling runs low or your propane runs very low, and you, you uh, leave on the, the valve, the uh, oxygen could technically, with the higher pressure, run back up and mix with the settling in the pipe and get back right up into the cylinder and you have oxygen in your settling tank. And that wouldn't be good or propane or you could have vice versa now check valves will only let the flow go in one direction but uh, this raises the question are flashback arrestors adequate for both uh, act as check valves and uh, flashback arrestors in other words these have inside them special stuff special equipment to check heat and immediately close off if heat goes up there if flame goes up there but what about if it's only the gas that's going up and no flame well i haven't got a straight answer to that but i did uh, get an answer i, I emailed wit w-i-t-t -T, they're a maker and they said their modern ones have both they have both a flashback arrestor and a check valve in it now if you're to put on the two of these you have a lot of weight you're carrying a lot of weight you could do it you probably get uh, check valves and put them on the cylinder side because i do not like them on the tarp side they're too heavy you know you're carrying this weight but i think i just want to make that clear and i have more work to do on it by right you'd really want check valves and flashback arresters or check valves in a flashback arrestor but for me, I just be sure that I turn off my knobs and I do not let the gases run out to the last drop. And uh, uh, I just use flashback arrestors. I think, I think there's no doubt the flashback arrestor is essential. It's essential. And why they don't make, I should put a little check valve in them as well and make that the rules in the EU. I don't know. If anyone has more information on it, fair enough. I'm just bringing that to your attention 
as I say, WITT, WIT, is it, they have told me, uh, their representatives, that their new ones have votes. So that tends to indicate that, uh, that they, they're right, you would need votes. Anyway, I think I've covered that enough. If I have to do another video on it, I will. And uh, that's all right. So the next thing out of the pipes, you have one for oxygen, the blue one, and one for for the, the gas. Now, if you're buying these, buy the one that does the, the propane, because funny enough, it takes a better standard of tube to do the propane than it does the, the acetylene, okay? So now we move on to our torch. And uh, this is a CD torch here. And this is the full thing here. It's a combi torch and it has the cutter. Now, the thing is, a lot of the times I personally would not be using the cutter. Uh, but uh, for heating, without pressing the lever here at all, this is good. If you want to heat something, this is fairly good. Now, there's a rose bud you can get that will give a lot of heat and a lot use a lot of fuel in that but this is this will give you a lot of heat locally in either oxyacetylene now again as far as i know and i believe this to be the case you the one torch does all the acetylene torch does all they're interchangeable there's the box that this cd box comes with it says fuel it doesn't indicate which fuel it is and you have your two connectors here you can't put them on wrong and there's, there's two, you can bend this up like this. This turns on your oxygen and it's better left fully open, almost fully open. This here controls your gas, your, your fuel. And then up here, this one, this is the one that fine tunes the oxygen, okay? So get used to which way to turn. Get used to the on and off way. If you look at them, you'll see them coming out there. Uh, clockwise is the, is, the, is the open and anti-clockwise seals them the same as they're not on a board okay you'll see that on them, on them here like that they go down if you look in here as you twist them you'll see it tightening tightening down you see and that's it so so uh so now there's a lot of confusion as to whether you can use these for all fuels yes you can propylene and all but this is the thing that you have to watch for when you take out this this is the nozzle. When you take out this, you have a nozzle here and they're not interchangeable, okay? Uh, it's a bit awkward here with all the pipes. Now this something may need a tap. You need to tap it out on something solid, but do not tap it on these pipes. Tap it here on that edge. In other words, that way to get out this. Now this is the, this is the, 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 the propane one and it has a row of holes First the thing, yeah, there you see the row of holes on the outside and the inside. So the row of holes on the outside sends the gas down through these slits. Do you see the slits? And uh, there's a hole in the center then, and that fits into that, like that. And what happens is, when you're heating, the outside is where the gas comes, nothing goes through the center. And when you're ready to cut, when you get to that bright orange, Kind of like the like the color of the inside of an orange and it's a bit fizzling that's the kindling point of the steel or metal you then press the, the lever here and that sends the oxygen out through the center and the oxygen alone is enough to do the cutting once you get it started so that's why the whole thing is rather hard on oxygen but uh, getting a supply of oxygen is the main thing now there's numbers on these and you know the that you know the the propane it's there it's back up here do you see it goes back up here that you cannot use the acetylene in with these gauge, gauge these nozzles because it has a different way of burning a different way of burning and then that goes on like that and that screws in in here like that you see there there and that's your propane tip now it'll be on the thing anyway but that's how you know and it'll also say It'll also say that there may be uh, fuel gas or propane. Now, uh, I think that as far as I remember, uh, acetylene has AN on it. I think that's what it is. But anyway, you'll get it there. It's easy to, you know, won't make a mistake. So this is your combi torch. This goes on the end of the main torch. Now, I want to get, I want to get the, the, the cutting. I'll just pause this. Yes, now this is the acetylene. This is the acetylene uh, uh, tip, 
not at all. And it has no recession. They're, they're, they're all the same level. It's a different cutting profile. And that again goes in here, the very same, very same thing. Don't confuse them. Now, I have some strong glasses here, the light's bad. I'm nearly sure it's AN is on is written on these, but you know here with, with, with the way it's with the way it's written. Now here, here's a brand new cutting nozzle here. Uh, no, oh, sorry, it's not new, but it's nearly new. I don't want to come with it again like that. And it's you can see straight away the slits on this and the fact that you can take them apart means it's for fuel gas. It's not for uh, for acetylene. Okay, and there's different sizes. Uh, different sizes. Look at your supplier will 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 will. I might do another one on that. Your supplier will, will may probably advise, but the main thing is to know that much. There's they're in sixty fourths actually. They range in sixty fourths, and so we're going to leave that. We're going to leave the 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 nozzle. Now one of the effects of the six little cuts of this. I think it's six. Six one one two three four five six seven eight. There's eight on this. One of the effects is that when you're testing your cutting torch, put it down on a piece of mild steel and you'll see a star pattern. You'll see a star, lines going out. And that, a, a good balanced star pattern, not too far, not too tall, not too thin, is the right star pattern. That's the right setting of your gate, of your, of your uh, taps and your, your, your torch. Okay, that's nearly as best as I can get it there. So we leave the cutting torch now. We leave the cutting torch and your nozzles, you know, whichever you want. Just don't confuse the two, but this will do for all. It's the same torch. Now, the other thing then is that um, we take our, our, uh, our torch here. It's awkward with, with, with the pipe, with the, with the hoses. So you have this, these screw in and out. You can get various size of nozzles. These are brazing heads. I've cut with them as well. And they have a seal and you just put them in here like that. And you screw on your, 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 your brass holder. Some people like them to have the, the valves up the way and the knobs and other like that way. I prefer it this way. Tighten them up and you need to check well you can't really check these so easily for a leak, but if you block it with your finger and put the soapy water you'll see if there's a leak here. And this is your brazing torch. And again uh, they open clockwise, anti-clockwise opens it and clockwise bolts it down. You'll see them going in and out here. There's just two knobs on these and they connect here. So that's your bracing torch. And that's the one I would get. That will that will heat. That'll heat a, a bolt. That heat a half inch bolt enough to get it off. And you can get the different heads. They come in different sizes. Now let's see it here. Uh, they come with different different sizes. So you can replace them depending on the what you want. Okay, that's the that's the bracing torch, okay? Which will also heat. And this is your uh your little files, it comes with a little packet of files which fit up here and gives them a clean. And every time you do that, you widen it a bit. So that means that they have a certain life. They have a certain life. So if I was buying one, I'd get the narrow one and then it'll widen anywhere for you. But anyway, they're not, they're not, they're, they're not expensive. So, so the thing is that... Now, folks, uh, on 13 minutes, this is the Sealy box and I'll just read it for you here. Sealy gas welding. Model number, oh, I don't know what that is, I can't read it, it's, it's 908 or something, it's not easy to read, but anyway, it doesn't matter. O oxy gas welding, now note it says oxy gas welding, uh, cutting equipment and gas welding, gas welding and gas cutting equipment, contents a torch, a cutting torch, a welding mixer, okay, uh, Welding nozzles number two, five, and ten, and they differ in various countries, but we go by the British standard here anyway. So there's three grand little nozzles with it anyway. Cutting nozzles one, one thirty second, three sixty fourth, and one sixteenth. And funny enough, I went to the chap in Oxy Arca Dundalk, and I wanted to get a nozzle for cutting, and he could tell me what was in this. He knew what was in it, and he gave me another one, the new one then, which is I think it's it's a different one. It's uh it's five sixty four, it's a big one, and it cuts like the different, but it's hard on oxygen. Now two 
two gauge single stage oxygen oxygen regulator so they're saying they come a regulator with this but i didn't buy i bought the regulator separate now beware there's a single stage regulator and a double stage regulator the double stage regulator is way more than what you need it, it's a different it's great it does a great job it's two stage i wouldn't bother with it i'd go for the single stage regulator it's technical if i'm going to talk about it, it'll not be done here a uh, two gauge single stage acetylene regulator so you note that it says on this that it's 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 a gas it's a it's a, a gas cutting uh, equipment torch so they must feel that the acetylene's all right so the acetylene regulator comes with this if you got the full kit now nozzle cleaning tools so 3 8 by 14 rubber hose complete with fittings and flashback arresters so this is what Sealy considers to be adequate and that's why I'm not too worried about the check, the check valves. Uh, that's the box there. And uh, that's that's it. Now, there's other ones. Uh, there's American ones like Harris. And there's a number of different ones. And some of them are actually made in Chinese. So, anyway, it's the Sealy I have. And uh, what's this the other name? Victor. Victor's an American one, too. And there's big, long. Do you get big, long um, ones of these? No, this is all you need. That's all you need. So folks, I think I've dealt with everything there. Uh, I think I have everything done. This is a, a, a great little job. I mean, this this is a lovely little set here, and you have all your safety. Now I don't have any safety on the on this. I put it on the cylinder to keep the weight down. So folks, I'm doing the best I can. I can't do any more. I'm not getting paid to do this, and I get no advertising or anything out of this. Nothing. I'm just trying to make my channel appeal to a various amount of people and show that we're not just uh, just talking and all of this has worked i have worked all of these i have worked them and i have to say that uh, even uh, that they work well and i've got people who never did it before and they love to come in and do a bit of brazing oh i've done a bit of brazing and they love working these i actually love working these these stuff i think i have a thing about these i just love making a model boiler or something with them and it's not that expensive so now i think i've explained everything to you i've left a wee bit up on the air about the uh, whether or not you should have uh, check valves in addition to flashback arresters and i've said that if you're buying new ones if you can get the ones and wit is one that have the guarantees to do both well then you're away in the hack i'm happy enough for now with my flashback arresters only and that's it and your hoses to the standard and the, all the hoses for the acetylene will do the propane but in any event these hoses will eventually break they'll crack here and you have to fix them and that's why you need to keep an eye on them and all of that and uh, that's it i'll leave a go folks give me a thumbs up and a thumbs down i think that we leave this subject for now and get on to something different thank you very much